Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another Patron live sharing class. Sorry, I was away for the last class, but once again, it's my greatest honor to be able to host you here. Remember to apply the knowledge you learned into practice. Continuous learning and practice will definitely improve your trading skills, which will eventually lead to more profitable trades. Financial freedom is our ultimate goal here. So let's work hard together to achieve it. For those who are new, we are here to learn something new and advance our portfolio. As for today's new topic, we will be touching on moving average triangular positions. Contents that I picked to share with all of you is something that I believe is useful and important for most of our listeners. This technique will be able to help everyone to have a clear understanding on how to read the charts. My duty here is not only sharing trading techniques, but also to scan for more profitable high quality stocks, share market analysts and guide everyone in all aspects of trading. So I hope that everyone can be more skillful and profitable. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, friends, today contents will be covering over four topics. I also will go over the updates of the Asia Pacific, uh, some review on that. And let's move on on the market situations. Okay, as an investor, it's important to review and analyze the market trends every day, regardless of whether the market is going up or down. But understanding the overall market situation, investors can make appropriate adjustments and modifications to their trading plans and strategies to keep themselves in an advantageous position. Let's take a look at Nifty for the start. Okay, as for Nifty Index, among sectors, the Nifty Financial Services Index declined by 1%, the IT Index by 0.62%, and the Nifty Metal Index by 0.84%. On the positive side, the Nifty Parma Index gained 1.3%. Today's index is truly breaking below the support line of the upward channel, indicating a high probability of entering an adjustment phase. This is mainly based on two points. For point number one, during the formation of the upward channel, it's already significant a deceleration of the previous uptrend. Point number two, the price breaking below the upward channel is another deceleration. After two decelerations during the uptrend, an adjustment is to be expected. Furthermore, we can observe the MACD index not only show a divergence, but also clearly indicates that fast and slow lines are unable to form a bullish cross. With the fast line already show a downturn, the indicators have already displayed signs of weakness. Moreover, today is already Thursday, and there is one more training day left in the week. In fact, regardless of how prices perform tomorrow, the main trend and the direction of the weekly candle have essentially lost the ability to change. Therefore, my conclusion is that the long-term bullish market in the index remains unchanged, but for the short-term trend has entered adjustment phase, and an outward movement will require some time to materialize. Okay, that's all for Nifty. Let's take a look at Sensex. Okay, as for Sensex. 
The Sinsex index broke below the support line on the previous trading day, slightly ahead of Nifty, or even more obviously, whether it broke the support line on the previous day or today, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that the fact that it has broken below. From a technical perspective, the structure of these two major indices is basically the same, indicating a high probability of the index entering a correction phase. On one hand, it indicates a slowdown in the uptrend, and on the other hand, it clearly broke below the support line, and over these two trading days, this downward breakthrough is very clear and effective. From a graphical perspective, additionally, we can observe that the MACD index not only shows a divergence, but also indicates that its fast and slow line are unable to form a bullish crossover. With the fast line starting to turn downwards again, the indicators are showing signs of weakness. Furthermore, this week is about to close with one more trading day, and the current trend of this weekly candlestick chart already represents the main movement trend and direction. Therefore, for my conclusion, is that the long-term bullish market in the India stock market remains still unchanged. But as for the short term, it enters a correction phase, which needs time to adjust and digest before we resume the uptrend. Okay, that's all for the two indices. Let's move on to microanalysis. Microanalysis data and news. Okay, we pay attention to these aspects because they are not only allow us to examine the market from a broader perspective, but also provide investors with more comprehensive and in-depth market information to help formulate more strategy investment plans. However, we should also be cautious and combine other analytical methods to better understand the market and make decisions that align with our individual investment goals. Let's take a look at the news that I picked. The government of Reserve Bank India, Shaki Kanda Das, state at the World Economical Forum in Davos that despite a significant recent decline in core inflation, India's monetary policy must maintain a proactive anti-inflation stance. Thus acknowledge a recent decrease in core inflation, excluding volatile food and fuel prices, and express satisfaction that their monetary policy is having an effect. However, he emphasized that monetary policy committee goal remains headline news. He also highlighted the potential impact of global geopolitical instability of food inflation, particularly due to disruption in global supply chain and other risks. Thus predicted a slowdown in inflation in January, but stressed that the central bank cannot be complacent or consider changing its policy focus unless inflation continues to fall below 4%. His term is set to end in December, making him the longest-serving governor of Reserve Bank of India since the liberalization in 1991. Since 2018, he has led the world's fifth-largest economy through a series of shock and maintaining relative stability in inflation and currency. The central bank aims to continue building foreign exchange reserves, which have reached a nearly 22-month high of $617 billion, in order to avoid the pressure 
of sudden rupee depreciation caused by capital outflow during a panic period like the one in 2013. This indicates that India's monetary policy is unlikely to change for the time being and there will be no interest rate reduction cycle until inflation falls before or below 4%. Okay, let's take a look at the next news. Driven by car sales and online shopping, retail, U.S. retail sales in December exceeding expectations, maintaining a solid foundation for a economy entering the new year. The optimistic report from the U.S. Department of Commerce on Wednesday has led economists to rise their expectations for fourth quarter economic growth. Casting further doubt on the expectation that Federal Reserve will begin cutting interest rate in March. The data for this month shows growth in employment, wages, and consumer prices in December. Federal Reserve Governor Christopher Waller described the economy as performing well, stating that this allowed the FED to act flexibly and prudently in monetary policy. With a relatively strong labour market, household spending has maintained a healthy pace. Despite a slowdown in spending compared to a third quarter strong growth, this is sufficient to prevent concern of an economic recession. Confidence is high among most economies that the economy will avoid a recession. As the FED is expected to begin cutting interest rate this year. Since March 2022, the central bank has raised the policy rate by 525 basis points to current range of 5.25% to 5.5%, excluding cars, gasolines, building materials and food services, retail sales grew by 0.8% last month. This so-called core retail sales indicator is the closest to the consumer spending component of GDP. The overall economic growth forecast currently exceeds 2.2% with third quarter economic growth at 4.9%. The government is scheduled to release its first estimate of GDP growth for the October to December quarter next Thursday. The expected slowdown in GDP growth may partly reflect a smaller scale of inventory accumulation compared to the third quarter. The injection of New momentum into the U.S. economy indicates that the U.S. is further away from entering an interest rate reduction cycle. The vision of expecting a rate cut to bring upward momentum to the market is temporarily difficult to realize. Okay, that's all for our macro analysts. Let's take a look at the next topic. Okay, friends, we are currently in the second phase of the competition of the Asia-Pacific headquarters, which is a stage of asset management skill competition. We are currently in a tense stage. Here, I would like to express my gratitude once again to all members and friends who have been supporting us strongly. With your support, my team and I have more confidence in ultimately winning the evaluation of the asset management skill competition. And of course, up to the present week, all of our trades have been profitable. I believe that everyone has followed our trades, has made a good profit. So we have a reason to believe that our asset management skill in India region 
will definitely achieve significant breakthrough this week. Okay, let's take a look at the current results. Okay, since we started trading on the UC limit stocks, our total return has reached around 178%. And today is Thursday. And for our trading profits, Thursday has actually come to an end. And just these four trading days, we have already achieved a return of 62%. So, although we have still ranked third in terms of asset management scale, both my team and I are very confident. After all, there is still about a month to go until the deadline for comparing asset management skills. During this month, as long as we can work hand in hand, we will definitely be able to achieve our ideal goal. During this time, everyone has made good profit okay, from trading on the UC, uh, UC limit stocks, but this is far not enough. Okay, we will definitely select even better stocks to bring to everyone. Okay, let me share with you the IPOs. Okay, I believe some of you have been asking about IPO. Okay, additive learning technology. Okay, so in the past two to three trading days, okay, we have participated in Max Posture. IPO and Medi Assist Healthcare IPO subscriptions. Our company did not receive a large allocation for these two IPO, and although some of us may be able to successfully subscribe, the number of successful subscriptions is definitely insufficient. We hope that everyone can understand this, and is thank you very much for your understanding. You know, not everyone can get the subscription allotted shares. So, I, but I have some good news, okay, to announce here today, which is tomorrow. For the IPO sub subscription, okay, there is a company called Additive Learning Technology Limited, for which we have obtained a sufficient allocation that everyone can confidently subscribe tomorrow. Okay, the subscription opens tomorrow. Of course, my business trip this time is not only to just sign the underwriting contract for this company IPO. I also went to communicate and negotiate with some of our partners for more profitable schemes in the future. Some preceding cooperation intentions have been made and been signed, such as bulk training. Okay, but I will not talk about it today. Okay, I will not discuss about, about trading. We will have the opportunity to talk about this later. So, let's move back. Why did we choose Additive Learning Technology Limited? Out of the four IPO companies that is going to launch tomorrow. Firstly, we obtained a larger underwriting allocation for this company. Secondly, our team has been conducting an in-depth research on this company for quite some time. And we believe that in future prospects after listing are more extensive. And thirdly, the other three IPOs either have insufficient post-listing allocation to meet our company needs or certain elements that do not meet our company requirements. Okay, we are very strict on that. We pick our IPOs professionally. Okay, so what kind of company is Additive Learning Technology Limited? Which we will be subscribing tomorrow. I believe most of you might ask, you know, what company they are. What are its prospects for development? Our company team has conducted professional research on this and produced a relevant research reports. Okay, you can take a look. We have conducted 
extensive research and observation for this company for a period of time and produce a professional research report. Okay. Firstly, Additive Learning Technology Limited was established in September 2017 and is an educational technology platform primarily targeting mid-career and senior professionals and sometimes young professionals, providing skill enhancement and career services. The company offers courses and training programs to help individuals to improve their skills. It covers law, finance, compliance, human resources, business consulting, artificial intelligence, content writing and data science, and own three different brands, Lossika, Skill Arbitrage, and Data is Good. The company is the world number one in legal education technology, ranked first out of 104 competitors, and also own one of the world's largest legal blocks with an average monthly user count exceeding 2.5 million. It can be said that the company ranks first in the niche market. And additionally, the company's business projects are highly professional and exclusive, making it difficult for new companies to enter the industry and compete with it. So in another words, this company has a strong competitive edge. We are very optimistic about its future development prospects. Currently, the company also offers international lawyers exam courses, such as the Canadian lawyer exam for digitals and solitaires, as well as the NCA exam for Indian lawyers who want to practice their trade in Canada. The UK Lawyer Qualification Exam providing training for Indian lawyers to pass the Solicitor Qualificating Exams, which is SQE, and obtain the qualification of Indian and Wales lawyers. And the California Lawyer Qualification Exam on how to pass the California Lawyer Qualification Exam and start their legal career in the United States. As of the date of this rate hearing, the company has 145 employees. It also employs 444 full-time consultants professionals who are involved in daily business operations, administration, legal, and accounting functions according to their designated responsibilities. Okay. Let's move on to the specific details. The financial performance of this company during the period from 31st March 2022 to 31st March 2023, the post-tax profit, which is PAT, of Additive Learning Technology Limited has increased by 603.63% and the revenue increased by 80.41%. In terms of financial performance, over the past three fiscal year, the company disclosed total income of 6.78 calls rupees in fiscal year 2021. And for fiscal year 2022, it's 18.59 call. And for fiscal year 2023, there is 33.55 call. For the first five months of the 2024 fiscal year, ending on 31st March 2023, its net profit was 3.16 call. And the total income was 24.82 call rupees. Over the past three fiscal years, the company reported 
an average earning per share, which is 2.14 rupees. And an average return of net worth, which is RONW, of 14.63%. Based on the net asset value in rupees, the price earning ratio for this issue is 0 0.3. As of 31st August 2023, its stock price was at 474.49 rupees. And the price earning ratio calculated based on the post IPO net asset value is 2.98. The per share value is 47.02 at the upper cap. Okay, the net asset value figures, which is as of 31st of uh, 31st of August 2023. Okay. The company has demonstrated growth in the total income and profitability over the past few fiscal year. Okay. As for the position in the sector, the company should be a front runner or a leader in a niche industry. According to prospectus, the company lists CL Educate and Career Point as its list third peers. The PE ratio are 32.3 and 14.86 as of this year, January 16, 2024. However, there are lack of comparability among similar products. Okay, and we take a look at the next slide. Okay, for the grey market premium, which, which is GMP, for I, the IPO Active Learning Technology Limited is plus 45. According to data from InvestorGains.com, this indicates a trading premium of 45 rupees for additive learning technology stock in the grey market. Considering the upper limit of the IPO price range and the current grey market premium, the expected listing price for additive learning technology is 185 rupees per share, which is 32% higher than the IPO price of 331 rupees. Point number two. This marks the eighth authorization of Nanolia Finance Company in the current fiscal year. In the last seven listing, this company has seen premiums on the listing day, ranging from 5% to 58.31%. One company has experienced an increase of over 200% within the longest six-month period, accounting for 14.28%. <coughs> and four companies have seen an increase of over 100%, accounting for over 57%. Therefore, companies underwritten by Nanolia Financial Company has shown excellent performance after listing, providing reasons to believe that the upcoming listing of Additive Learning Technology Limited will also demonstrate outstanding performance. The, this company, which started with legal courses, is now diversifying into online courses, including faster-paced online training placement and resolution at an economical price. The performance over the past 18 months indicates future trends. It has now become a global participant and is expanding its footprints. So in conclusion, Additive Learning Technology Limited as an upcoming education technology platform Primarily target the mid-career professional and occasional some young profession 
providing skill enhancement and career services. The company offers courses and training programs to help individuals to improve their skills. As I mentioned, covering laws and finance and other parts of the educations. It's exten extensively service network, industry innovation capabilities, and long-term growth potential are key factors attracting investors to participate in its IPO subscription. As according to Pentrum Ventures, based on its outstanding performance, the estimated initial returns from its listing will reach around 80%. For those willing to extend the time frame to three to six months, the expected return will reach around 150%. So, for those interested members or friends can actively book this rare opportunity opportunity. Okay, this is a good profit opportunity. So, I hope that you guys who are interested, okay, please go and subscribe tomorrow. Okay? Okay, let's move on to classical tactics. Okay, for today, okay, technical sharing. Today, what I want to share with everyone is an advanced practical technique about moving average, okay, which is called the triangular position of moving average. In fact, this technique I have researched is probably not commonly used or studied in the market at the moment. But I dare, I dare not say that it's original, okay, because uh, this is something that I also will use when I do trades. But at least, okay, I have some competitive advantages in the market because of I use this technique, okay, for my trades. So let me ask everyone a question. Did anyone hear before triangular position of moving average? Which I believe basically the answer is no. Because it's not commonly practiced. So everyone, please take this opportunity. Okay, to listen because I believe it's something very useful for you guys and it will not be repeated by me. Okay, so let's move on to moving average. Okay, when it comes to a triangular position of moving average, okay, there are four aspects that I'm going to share with everyone. Okay, first, what is triangular position of a moving average? Second, what is the role and logic behind the triangular position? Okay, or the function, as you can say. Then, how do we use the triangular of the moving average? Okay, how do we use it in practical trading? Okay, and why? Do I always involve practical contents when discussing technical with everyone? Okay, the reason is very simple. Because any any technical tactics, if it's not applied or you, you don't apply or you cannot apply in practical trading, then it is equal to nothing. Okay, what do we learn? Techniques that cannot be applied in practical trading. Okay, it's useless, right? So, finally, what should we pay attention when we use triangular position? Okay, so I'll explain one by one in detail with everyone. So, let's take a look. What is triangular position formed by moving average? Okay, let's take... The first question, okay, triangular position. The triangular position of a moving average refers to three intersections, okay, three intersection points, okay, formed by three moving average. And these three intersection points form a closed triangle, 
Okay, as you can see, which is something like this. Okay, it will form something like this. So, the period of this three moving average are short, medium, and long. Okay. Of course, the parameter setting of the moving average are not fixed and can be changed according to your own usage habits. Okay, we can see from the chart, which is here, okay, that three moving average are uh, intersect to form a closed triangle, while the trading volume is also gradually increasing, which very likely means the stock price will start to rise upward. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at the function and the underlying logic about triangular position. Okay, first, what is the function of a triangular position? The triangular position method, okay, can help us more accurately determine the bottom position of the market. Okay, the bottom position of the market. So, in another words, <clears throat> it can help us to buy the dip. So, we can buy the dip. In our practical trading, many people like to buy at the dip, correct? But often, this bottom is actually difficult to judge because we do not know when is the real bottom. Right, the biggest rule of the triangular position of the moving average is to help us to find the bottom. Usually, once this triangular position pattern appears at a relatively low level, it often means that a phrase bottom has appeared. But here we must pay attention the triangular in this triangular position is not the same. Okay, it's not the same triangular oscillation. Okay, it's not the same. Okay, they are fundamentally different. Okay, let's use a practical example using a chart. Okay, on the next slide. Okay. On this chart, I already mark out a few points. Okay, as you can see, the triangular, which is very clear. Okay, which is over here. It's over here. The three moving average <coughs> in the chart form an obvious triangle. We can see that the position of this triangle is a phrase bottom area. Although it may not be the absolutely low, the lowest point, okay, but at least it's at the bottom area, which is around here. Okay. In actual trading, we have always emphasized to everyone a mindset. Don't try to catch the absolute bottom price in actual trading. It's already very good to buy in the bottom area. At this time, precision is not necessary. It is not possible to be precise. After we see the formation of this triangle, created by the moving average, the price starts a big uptrend. Okay? You can see, it can go up. Start to go up. Okay. Let's take a look at another chart. Okay. Let's pay attention to the area that I circle in the chart. Okay, which is here. Does it form a triangle? There are some friends who have asked, okay, this doesn't look like a triangle. It looks crooked. But what I want to say is that it still fits the pattern of a triangle position. If you notice it, okay, take a look. So, although I just circle it, 
in the chart. Okay, uh, it actually didn't draw a triangle. Okay, so this is what I've been saying all along. We need to learn to be flexible because it doesn't mean that I must draw a triangle. Then you, it must be a triangle. You have to find it, all right? So we have to be flexible in stock market. Of course, standard patterns are better. Okay, I, if I draw it for you, you can see it's easy, right? Straightforward. But in reality, there are more non-standard patterns in the market. And we must learn to judge flexibility. And one point to note here is that after the moving average forms the triangular position, it's highly likely to produce an upward trend. The extent of the rise is not fixed. It's not the case that after the last triangle position, there was a certain extent of rise. So, this time, it has to rise by the same extent. Okay. So, let's take a look at the next slide. Okay. In the previous section, we saw that the moving average formed a triangular position. It often indicates a phrase of bottom area, correct? Why can we make such a judgment? What is the logic behind? Okay. So, in practical term, when the stock price has been falling for a long time and there is no further room to decline, the selling pressure from the seller ease and the buyers begins to enter tentatively thereby pushing the stock price slowly higher okay for example we use the parameters of three moving average namely ma8 ma21 and ma55 it's important to note that these three moving average are not standard but are used for ease of explanation. As the stock price rises, MA8 crosses above the MA21 for the first time since the decline. Okay? Just like the chart. Okay, you can see from the chart. That indicates that those who bought within 8 days are willing to chase the rise with an average price higher than of the past 21 days. The short-term demand for this stock exceeds supply. Driving the demonstration effect can lead to more gains. And it's encouraged existing shareholders to continue to hold. The situation is developing in a direction favorable to the long side, which is the buyer side. This is the first golden cross formed between the three moving average. Okay, let's continue with what we discussed earlier. After the first golden cross is formed, shortly after the MA8 crosses the MA55, resulting in profits for stocks bought within the 55 days period. This continued to encourage people to buy the stock and urge existing stockholders to hold onto their stocks. The number of people willing to buy increase while the number of people willing to sell decrease. So eventually, one day, the medium term moving average crosses above the long term moving average and the three moving average finding coverage into a triangle. Just the same as the picture. Okay? The green circle represents the MA8 crossing above the MA55, which is this. MA8 crossing 55. And the blue represent the MA21. Okay, the blue circle. 
crossing above the MA55. So I hope everyone can understand on this. Therefore, the significance of the, this triangle is that after its formation, it often leads to a strong upward trend, marking the turning point from a bearish trend to a bullish trend. Okay, let's take a look into a real case, okay? This is a daily line chart of a stock. <clears throat> okay, anyway, the name is not important of this stock because it's just a, it's a past chart, which is long ago. The key is for everyone to learn the technique and strategy. And there's no need to to ask on what stock I use or which stock I choose, which I already explained to everyone, is not a need to know, okay? Okay, for this, I have used the parameters of MA8, MA21, and MA55. For the moving average, okay, why did I choose these three moving average? <clears throat> this is because uh, it's my own trading habits, okay, and experience that I've come over the years. So I normally use these three moving average. These are the moving average, okay, I find that it's the easiest to judge. Of course, there's no fixed standards, okay. Some others might use other moving average, okay. So everyone can choose their own moving average that suit them best, okay. So let's continue with the chart. Okay, pay attention to the highlighted area that is yellow. Okay, the box, yellow box. The moving average here are actually a bearish arrangement. You can see the three lines are on decline. Okay. Indicating a clear downtrend. Okay, following a price decrease. The short-term moving average starts to cross above the long term moving average, which is circle in, okay, which I circle, you can see that the, the triangular position of the moving average has formed, indicating a potential bottom area. At the same time, the trading volume also began to gradually increase, okay, you can see at the bottom. Eventually, the price starts a strong upward trend, which lasted for eight months. This trend is eight months. Okay. It can be said that once such a trend is captured, the profit potential is significant. Okay, let's take a look at another case. Okay. This figure is actually very similar to the previous one, okay? I'm just using it, okay, just uh, for your impression. Similarly, before the triangular formation is formed in the figure, okay? You can see that this there's a yellow box also, okay? The price was in a bearish trend. As soon as the triangular formed, the trend began to reverse and follow by the wave of upward trend. But here we need to uh, pay attention to the fact that after the formation of the triangle, all the subsequent upward trend, including the amplitude and their pace of their upward trend are different. Okay. So this chart and the previous chart look similar. Okay. But in the real world, you cannot find two identical leaves. So it's similar in the stock market. You cannot find any two completely identical market trends. Okay, which include our pace, speed, and etc. Okay, let's take a look at the next slide. So 
So, as I have mentioned a lot, okay, so how should we apply, okay, in the practical process of the market? First, we need to divide the traders in the market into two types of traders, okay, because facing the same market condition, different traders will make different choices or decisions, okay. Therefore, we need to classify and see because I do not know what kind of trading style each of everyone belongs to. Okay, Let's first take a look at the first type. How should aggressive type traders apply this triangular position method in a practical trading? These investors, meaning aggressive investors, okay, often take action ahead of most traders in the market <coughs> chasing lower price and earlier entry points and are willing to tolerate small price reversal or low probability risk in order to gain a larger profit space okay this type of investors can enter the market when the ma8 breaks upwards through the ma21 moving average to form the first golden cross okay but heavy positions are not recommended meaning that we should not dump every single cent on the first golden cross okay therefore it is recommended to use small portion okay small portion of your funds to what to test the trend okay to test the trend and then add to the position as the trend stabilizes. So, in other words, even if you make a mistake, the risk involved is not, is not significant. And overall, the risk is controllable. But the expected profit space is relatively large if you're able to catch it. Okay? Okay, for aggressive type investors, okay. Okay, let's take a look. How do they do? Okay, for so for aggressive, as I mentioned, the first cross, correct? They will enter. And in a small okay my recommendation is small amount of funds okay and here you add the second golden cross you start adding your position and on the third one you continue to add more position okay this is for aggressive okay for aggressive traders this is one of the method that I will recommend to everyone. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Okay, just now I mentioned about aggressive. How about passive investors? Correct. So, for passive investors, how do passive traders operate to use on the same graphical example? Okay, as a passive investor, when the first golden cross Okay, if you are passive investors, okay, when you see the first golden cross is formed, do not rush to buy. Okay, normally they do not rush to buy, but wait and watch. Because it is not certain that the triangle position will form subsequently. So when the second golden cross is formed, meaning the bullish settlement in the market has already started to show strength. This is when the passive trader starts buying. So, when the third golden cross is formed, which is when the triangular po position is formed, okay, the upward trend is already very obvious. They will add more to their position. Okay, in this way, although they may lose a portion of their profit space, okay, but this can reduce 
the risk of loss. Okay, let's take a look. The same chart, okay, for but for a passive investor. For a passive investor, as I mentioned, first golden cross, they will wait and watch, okay, in case, okay. But once the second golden cross is formed, they will start to buy over here. And as for the third one that is formed, third golden cross form, they will increase their position. Okay, this is to reduce their risk. This is for passive traders. Okay. Okay. In fact, although it's my own summary of practical skills, okay, the triangular position is generally applicable in all the markets. Okay. The practical application, the use of this triangular position with moving average result in clear signals and high probability of winning. It can be used as an important technique for what we call bottom hunting. Okay, bottom hunting for the stocks, the trend of the stocks. When selecting stocks, combining the success rate of the index environment and other indicators will actually make it higher success rate. So, every trader must really go and study on this and try to master it. So, what kind of trader are all of you? Whether it's aggressive or passive, I would suggest everyone start with passive first. And after mastering the skill, then you can start to go aggressive with confidence. Okay. Okay, of course, using this method, there are some things that we need to pay attention to. And this method, okay, can be applied to any market. Stock market, foreign exchange, futures, and etc. It is not limited to only stock market as stock market is just one of the market. Okay, point number two. The moving average parameters mentioned above are not unique and can be adjusted by oneself, meaning that if you prefer some other moving average, you can use it. Okay, for point number three. The smaller the parameters of the moving average, the more sensitive the market reacts. While the larger parameters, the more stable it becomes. But signaling effects may be also delayed. Okay? So, we have come to the end of my live class. Thank you very much for joining my class and giving me, me your support. We will continue our live class on this coming Sunday which is 21st of January 2024, 8pm. I hope to see everyone here again. And thanks for joining me. And have a great night.